Neither are either of these guys going to be. Whoever ends up losing, it is Sutton <laughs> against Ronnie Mack. <laughs> Ronnie Mack with the whole shot. Got had a good roll. This is the lane where Mack went before. He's got the lead on Sykes. The winner of this one goes to the finals. And listen to the crowd. The crowd is going to go bonkers <laughs> if Ronnie Mack makes it to the main event. He's got to stay error free to this final section. The fans are loving it. I mean, coming into this event, it was all smack talking from you, but you're backing it up. Well, these guys don't yeah. got talent. They just try to work and go to the gym and cycle in their spandex. Yeah. We're just talented, God-given talent. That's why we're out here winning this one. I said, Ronnie, what are your chances of winning this race? And he puts it at about 69%. Ronnie Mack is on a 1998 Honda. The bike is nearly 20 years old. But the way Red Bull Street Rhythm works, that doesn't really mean anything. Stank dog against Ronnie Mack. Well, Ronnie uses that straight back to help get more traction as he gets a slight advantage. Coming in with Stank Dog, working it back. Oh, it's still anybody's oh, race. Oh, no, Ronnie Mack. Oh. Ronnie Mack goes down and down hard. Oh, no. It's a little bit short there. Throws the foot Whoa. off the peg and then now throws him right into the next one. Ronnie, you were full of confidence there before that, and then we saw that incident. Talk us through what happened. How are you feeling now? Are you going to get back out there? I said before, we had a 60 hey, chance of winning Open up one. in there, man. Ugh. Ron, get your ass up. No way. Ron, you're a tough guy to get a hold of. I see you didn't get my letter. What the hell is this, man? Go to the fridge and grab me a drink. Oh, wow. This is a little more serious than I thought. Straight Rhythm 2018? Two strokes only? Hell yeah, smoking... What, Stank Dog smoking fools? Oh, kiss my ass, Stank. You know you didn't beat me straight up. The back of my jersey says I'm the champion. That's besides the point. I'm here to get you out of this funk. Let's go ride, man. Not today, man. I'm not into it. I got an idea. I'm gonna smoke you out. What's going on out there, Ron? I haven't seen you get that front end up. Man, I ain't been able to get her up since straight rhythm last year. Man, I always has you pegged as a guy that wouldn't be slipping. Wait, what'd you say? Peg, peg, slip, slipping. Peg, slipping. Peg, slipping. Peg, slipping. I thought you were unbreakable. Oh my gosh, I got it. You're going down, son. I knew it. I knew it. It couldn't have been me. It had to have been something else. And right there, my foot slipped. It was the bike's fault. I need some new pegs for the Screaming Eagle. Well, I mean, it was partly your fault. No, I just need to go find some new factory foot pegs for the Screaming Eagle, that's it. But do they even make foot pegs for a 98 CR Honda anymore? I know where they do. Or should I say, when they do. What? Yeah, man, back when I was a kid, I used to water the Honda test track back when Jerry McGrath was testing the Screaming Eagle for the first time. Oh, I remember watching that American-built Screaming Eagle CR250 fly around the Honda test track thinking that's the only bike I am ever going to ride in my entire life. I don't understand what this has to do about foot pegs. Can't you see? If I go back in time, I can solve this problem. Go back in time? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Just enough for one more. Wow, 
diss track, just like I remember. Whoa, there's Jerry McGrath. And there's me. Hey man, what are you doing? Oh, I'm uh, just looking for some foot pegs for the uh, scream, I mean, CR250. There's probably some bitchin' factory foot pegs in that Honda box van over there. Box van, huh? Here, man, take a beer. All right. Thanks, brother. Even though you ride a communist dirt bike and you're quite shit at announcing, you're a pretty good guy. Um, thanks. Yo, Fro! Be careful and have a see this weekend, man. I hear they're really cracking down out there. too fast for super class. Yeah, it's fast. No more same, same. It's different. All American made. Snap on, not chopsticks. Just like the body, body. Man, I can't even ride this thing. It's way too fast. <laughs> you damn right it's fast. That's space age technology. Why in the hell do I need space age technology? I'm not going to the moon or anything. Listen here, you goat tea face fuck. Get on the bike and ride it. Be a space cowboy. Be a hero. Let's see it. Crazy asshole redneck. <laughs> oh, bike it too fast. You hurt Jeremy's son. Have you been to the moon? Huh? We're going to the moon! Moon? yourself another space monkey to do these experiments on. Trial and error, baby. Trial and error. Apollo 13. Hold up, dude. We didn't test the Pabst plutonium. Don't you listen to that, Snowflake. Screaming Eagle's the best bike on the goddamn planet. Smoother around that track than the PBR is down the back side of my throat. Shut the hell up, bitch. That's Jeremy McGrath. Best there is. Who the fuck are you? You little shit. I'll show you who the hell I am. Amazing, who the hell are you?
Tom, you. Ronnie Mac from the future. Hey! Hey! Drop that plutonium! They're coming for you, Ron! Did it work? You tell me. Who's the greatest supercross racer of all time? Jeff Emig, duh. Exactly.